খুবর কাবাতি সি টিভি লবণ রাশিফি লেডি কিন কলেজ শিলং হাঁকা ফ্রাতরে উনাইল বের আর হাজার আর ফুয়ে কালা পুনক বুরম ইকি সামলা পুলি বারেম কি বানাদ মনসুয়া জঙ্ক কলেজ কি বল দন বন্তা বন্ন সিনিয়ং শিকাত এ উৎসব উথিয়ার জঙ্কে এমলং কা সালং হাকানি কে জিল্লা হাগানি কে জিংপুন কু বুরম ইয়া কি নিকি সামলা পুলি বারেম জং কানিক কলেজ লাখে রু ইকে ইন্টারনেশনাল উইমেন্স ডে কবলা সাকি লং দা কে ডেপুটি কমিশনার জং ইস খাসি হিলস ডিস্ট্রিক ককং ইসা ওয়ান দা লালু কবলা লং কং সন হরংকাত কা জিং দন লং জং কা প্রিন্সিপাল জং কানিক কলেজ ক ডক্টর মিসেস সি মাসার ক প্রেসিডেন্ট জং কা গ্রাস রুট ফাউন্ডেশন ককং মে ফরিন রিনতথিয়ং লেমবাট কিওয়ে কিওয়ে that is so important on a day such as today that we look back at all the people who have made where we are today possible the struggle for women's emancipation has had a long and checkered history across continents across the world there was a time when women weren't allowed to go out and study they weren't allowed to vote they weren't allowed to step out of their homes and earn a living wage So many countries have so many different sets of rules and laws for women. Many of the rights which we have today we take for granted. But it has been a long history, it has been a long fight to emancipate women. In our own country, only in the last century, we saw the practice of sati where a woman would throw herself into the flames of her dead husband upon his death because it was unthinkable then for a woman to have a life. without someone to support her to nurture her a woman is nothing without her husband and how grateful we are now that because of the burdens that other women have had to bear because of the fights that they have fought on our behalf we are standing where we are today we each have personal journeys personal lessons my own late grandmother studied in her, in this college i think she did uh intermediate arts i think that's what it was called in the 50s or 60s she was a strong woman who raised seven children despite an illness which eventually took her life but she passed on values to my mother who in turn passed them on to me values that taught me to stand on my own two feet to follow my passion to follow my dreams we have so many laws and acts and legislations to protect us we have books so we have a uh, prevention of sexual harassment to women at the workplace we have the nirbhaya scheme we have so many things which have been instituted to protect the rights of women and we want people to be aware about all these things but at the same time we recognize the need that unless there is a greater societal change there is a greater understanding there is a greater deliberation and engagement with issues that matter change will not come it starts from the home as comrade had said it starts in our schools it starts in our colleges it starts with parents raising their children to be equal it starts with parents telling their sons that he ought to respect his sister that use of brute force or muscular strength is never the answer it starts with telling a woman or a young girl that she can aspire to whatever she may want to do or be that playing sports or being loud there's nothing wrong with that not too long ago a very popular adage was women are to be seen not heard well i think we should do away with all of that stuff and nonsense be heard speak out make your voices felt and so it starts with our families in raising our children equally and also wherever needed to provide that platform that staircase which a woman may need in order to rise up the ranks in order to break the glass ceiling in order to occupy positions which are conventionally held by men